Hello friends, it is fairy tale week this week and so Mrs. Scott read you our fabulous book about Jack and the Beanstalk and so today we are going to make giant beanstalks with clouds on them. So you will need a piece of white paper, a piece of green paper, scissors, glue, at least one cotton ball, you will need a marker and you will need a green marker for the grass. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw our beanstalk. So to do that, so I've got this piece of paper and I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to draw a wave. And then I'm going to draw another one like this. And then we're gonna cut them. So remember, thumb on top, open your scissors wide, and turn your scissors as you close them slowly. Alligator is so hungry. Like this. This is a scrap piece of paper we can use in a minute. Now we've got to cut the other one. Nice and slow, try and stay on the line. There's our beanstalk. So I'm going to glue my beanstalk to my paper. I'm going to put the glue on my green paper. this and gotta turn my glue I ran out and it's gonna go up 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 push down now my beanstalk is a little bit off of my paper but that's okay I like that because our beanstalk went all the way up now the next thing you need is your cotton ball so to do this we pinch pinch and pull apart our cotton ball. See how it unravels to make clouds and it comes fluffy clouds? That's what we're going to do. So I've got that piece and look I can still pull on this piece. Okay, now I'm gonna put my glue now the clouds, this is the ground that the beanstalk grows from. So our clouds go up here. I'm gonna put the glue on the paper. And then I'm gonna put my cotton ball down. You might get a little bit of glue on your fingers while you're doing this and that's okay. You can wash it afterwards. See, I have cotton balls for my clouds. Okay, so now, remember we had that scrap piece of paper? We're going to make some leaves for our beanstalk. So to make a leaf, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a smile. Then I'm gonna turn the paper upside down and I'm gonna draw another smile to connect it. And you can draw as many as you want to add. So then we're gonna cut them out. Try and cut on your black line. Now sometimes in our beanstalk, we might have extra branches going off. So if you wanted to cut some more, you could do that. You can cut some smaller lines, smaller branches like this.
So I have some extra branches. And now I'm gonna put my leaves on. And I'm gonna draw some different size leaves. And I'm gonna try and use as much as my scrap paper as I can. Cut out all my leaves. Do your best when cutting. It's okay to need to practice. That's why we do activities like this. Now I'm going to put them on my beanstalk. So our leaves should be touching our beanstalk. Because that is how leaves grow. They grow touching our branches. There's my beanstalk. Now we're going to draw some grass at the bottom. Now to draw the grass, we're gonna do a diagonal line slide down, diagonal line slide up, like that so it looks like the letter V. And then one line in the middle like that and you can do them small you can do them big you can put them on your bottom of your beanstalk so we're practicing our diagonal lines we're practicing making lines in the middle And there's my grass at the bottom of my beanstalk. You could draw color in the sky. You could add a sunshine. It's your picture, whatever you want to do. I hope you had fun making a beanstalk with me. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.